Okay, so my wife has this Asus Chromebook. It's model C302C. And uh, my kids did a number on it. And what was happening was you'd open it up and this keyboard would light up, but the screen was dead. And you could charge it. You could see the charging light turn on when you plugged it in, but uh, the screen wouldn't function. And I tried to, you know, all the little reset things you can do. I tried taking the battery out and none of these things worked. So I tried to uh, replace the lid switch first because that was like 20 bucks. Um, but uh, that didn't work either. So my next option was the motherboard. So I found a motherboard on eBay. And so I, uh, I, I found, this is the uh, model number of the um, motherboard. So you can, right up here, so you can search, I can zoom that in maybe. Yeah, it's hard to see, but you can, here's the number you want to search. And this is the model number of, of the uh, Chromebook. There, maybe that's a bit better. So this is actually the old motherboard. Um, that I took out. So I'm just going to kind of show you what I did. So here's the back of the computer and you've got, I just happen to have this little Tekton uh, kit that I use to work on cell phones with and now Chromebooks. And you're going to want, uh, I think it's a T5 bit for the screws in the back. And then there's screws under the pads here, which these kind of had, had cracked already and now they're worse off for the wear. I already took the screws out though. So I'm just going to use a little screwdriver to pop the uh, lid up here. We can find the spot. All right, so there's the back lid. All right, so here's the Uh, inside of the Chromebook. All right, you can see the motherboard right here. And obviously the battery's plugged in, so you just wanna be really careful that you're not um, crossing anything up. And if, and if you wanna be static free, that's probably even better. So what you need to do is remove, so I removed the battery first, that's right here. And this just pops up, this thing on top, this black thing, it's just a sticky thing to go over the connector, but that, that pulls right off. And then <clears throat> uh, same thing here, these things just pull right up same type of connector, they pull straight up. Uh, and then what I did is I took all these screws on the outside out that hold the motherboard down. Um, and you're gonna have to take this screw out too. Now this is a little Phillips and you're gonna have to be real careful because these little Phillips screws uh, strip really easy. So make sure you have the the right head, this Tekton set has quite a few Phillips heads in it. So you're gonna pick the one that fits the best and really put some pressure on it to get it out without stripping it. Um, you need to take this out because this connector is not a flip up one. It's just, this thing just slides out and you're gonna have to do that. And then these things here are just sticky that you need to pull up. And then you can, this, there's another screw under this, this thing's like a, a sticky 
um, piece of fabric. You got to pull that up to get to a screw underneath. And then for these ribbon connectors, uh, maybe it's easier to show you on the old motherboard. So, see for the ribbon connectors, these little black tabs flip up. And this one, the black tab is in the front, and this one, the black tab's in the back. So you got to pull these up first before you can pull the old ribbon connector out. So here's another one here. But you see, like, here's this end connector that goes with this, and that is, it doesn't flip up. The other one just pulls out. And then this, this one here, you need to flip this up. So that flips. Uh, you need to flip that up uh, very carefully, but um, the way you get it, get this to disconnect from the motherboard is you really just have to, I, I just moved the whole motherboard. So once I had it on a loose, so I, I did some of these, like this one last. So the next is the heat sink. And so it's got two screws and you'll notice they're numbered one and two. So you maybe can't see that really well, but you'll see a number. So you want to take those off in order. And then you're going to have to gently pry up the heat sink uh, over the processor because it's got this, um, and, you know, this uh, stuff they use on it on top of the processor to help it uh, dissipate heat. And that's going to be stuck to the heat sink. So you got to gently pry that up after you take the two screws out. And then at that point, you can, over here, the, where the power connector is, right here, type C power connector, and um, here, these two connectors, you're going you're gonna to have to shift the whole motherboard uh, this way a little bit. So you can pop that out and then you have to pull it back the, uh, this way so you can get this connector out. And um, yeah, but be really careful with the ribbon connectors. Maybe you wanna have like a little needle nose pliers to pull on these little tabs. And you know, make sure you have the tabs up before you pull them out. And then when you put the ribbon connectors back in, I actually removed the entire battery. I took the screw out here and the screw out here and remove the whole battery before I mess with these ribbon connectors just to give myself more room. It's well worth it. And then when you put the ribbon connector into the new motherboard, you just have to make sure it slides all the way in before you clip it down. And just be super gentle with ribbon connectors. And uh, yeah, then, then it's just a question of putting your screws back in and being extremely careful. Plug the battery in last. Uh, in my opinion, just so you want to be super careful not to cross any of the um, parts of the motherboard. So once I put the new motherboard in and in reverse order of how I took it out of, uh, I wasn't sure if that, that would do the trick or not, but uh, thankfully for my wife, it did. So it's a, it's a little banged up from my kids because they just are addicted to the thing and they always want to steal it someplace and play around and touch the screen, especially my four-year-old. And then they drop it and do whatever else. But the, yeah, so just with a little, with a little inexpensive toolkit and a willingness to, uh, kind of try things around. There was no video on YouTube how to do that. I just kind of gave it a whirl and it happened to work. So I got to put the screws back in the back, but. Let's see the screen works now. So good to go.